that this legislation got through, we would have had a media czar appointed by the government uh, stopping any any article critical of the government, which is not too far away from where, 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 China, you know, where China is. Um, and, the, and the excuse they use, I mean, you know, I couldn't say, I'm doing this because they're investigating me. So what did she do? The media got a lot to answer for because of some problem over in, over in London. You know, the, the excuse of the news of the world telephone messaging, you know, where, where the journalists were calling up uh, public figures' phone services and listening to the messages and writing stories about it. Somehow that got transferred to Australia as that problem we had, which justified shutting down our press, the freedom of press. Oh, yeah. So I think that was a really dirty, dirty period of politics. I think, I think Labor should be punished for, for that and continue to be punished for many years to come. And as far as I'm concerned, they haven't been called out hard enough. And I, 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 I can't imagine, I worry that they, if they come back in, they'll do it again. Um, Worse. But uh, listen, listen to this state. This is the this is from Kim Williams, the CEO of News Limited at the time. I mean, and these are these are unbelievable words, but they're true. This government will go down in history as the first Australian government outside of wartime to attack freedom of speech by seeking to reduce a regime which effectively institutes government sanctioned journalism. The public interests are we beholden to government and will act as, as its gatekeeper. Is a sad day for our democracy. Um, here, here. I think that's um. That sums up what, uh, <coughs> what was happening, what we can't allow to happen, happen in the future. But gagging the press is one thing, but, but there's another way of gagging the press, which is controlling people who speak to the press. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of the Liberal Party, and as I said before, I, I'm not allowed to speak to the press about material party matters. I'm not allowed to speak to the press in any way that might. Um, bring uh, embarrassment to the party. And uh, unfortunately, there's a, there's a lot of reason for them to be embarrassed. But <laughs> but I, I guess um, They put this restriction on on their members from from talking to the press, but it's a sham. Everyone talks to the press. I mean, except they, they talk off the record. It's anonymous, um, and they use it as a weapon against other other people. So if, if someone from a, from a large faction talks to the press, they don't get investigated. If someone from a smaller faction um, someone who uh, is, is centre-right centre conservative, then they, they go after you because they want to shut you up. So this is a way of, of, of controlling what goes to the press by, by closing down the others uh, doing the talk. And I think, uh, my, my belief is that we should, political parties should be allowed to speak to the press, uh, but it, it should, should be on the record. And I think it will go a long way to to stop political backstabbing and, dare I say, stop the corruption that does exist within political parties because of the secrecy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I think that's about 20 minutes. manager of editorial training in 2009. He was, he was a Walkley Award finalist 
for a feature series about a murder in inner Sydney. In 2017, he moved to Charles Sturt University in Bathurst as a senior lecturer in journalism. In 2005, he's consulted pro bono on media development in East Timor, helped raise and distribute $200,000 to support independent journalism and media. Last year, he established the Bathurst Multicultural Storytelling Festival, which will run again this year during Harmony Week at the end of March. Last year, he wrote a feature article on press freedom for Penn Sydney magazine, The Big Chilling Effect, was the name of it. Uh, welcome, Job Chief, and please.